afternoon youtube it's your boy learning to cool welcome to my channel like if you like the video subscribe if you're not already subscribed to the channel i'm gonna dive right into the maze runner i thought i would do like the most extensive you know review about this movie because it was the climax the finale you know because we've been waiting since 2015 for this moment and daniel bryan's injury did he get the injury in the train heist like no lie, this movie had some of the greatest action sequences shot beautifully. Even when uh, Nino, Niho, Niho, whatever his name is, was in that dream state where they were sucking out that thing from his brain. I forgot what they call it. I'm not really a biologist or a scientist, so I can't really articulate that well, but you know what I'm saying? Even that scene was breathtaking. Like the director really knows how to do action sequences. Talk about ac action sequences. All of them were amazing. Like I'm gonna talk about the positive first. All of them were amazing. From the train heist to when they were in the city to the dream state, everything was amazing action sequence wise. I'm sorry I'm looking down, I'm just looking down at my notes and pictures, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna pop them up. And you know, everything was amazing, the explosions, the tension, it was gravitating. Those were the moments where I had, you know, edge of the sea type of moments. But there was, there was also some downfalls in this movie, like a lot of unnecessary deaths, which I'll talk about right now. But let me just get rid of the positives. The characters on top of that, the characters were amazing, like the cast performed excellent like from Thomas to Teresa who was on the other side like I was embedded on how their performances were you know what I'm saying I was really into the story because of how they performed so I really enjoyed the performances but the story that's where the downfall comes the story was lacking it wasn't satisfactory enough like you understood what why it went where and where and how it ended, but there was a lot of unnecessary deaths, like Newt, Newt's death was unnecessary, Teresa's death was unnecessary, because they found out that Thomas's blood was key, that next minute, the only person who can, who's alive, who can access his genome and distribute it, like Thomas should be the answer for like his mission now, since his mission to save people is done, he should be saving people, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like Teresa could find a way to extract it, and it was his blood. It wasn't really, you know, that brain DNA thing. It was mostly his, his blood that was the key, and they only needed once to be cured. Like, Thomas, that should be his next mission. Maybe that's what they were saying when he was holding the cure at the last scene, but I really wasn't feeling it. Like, Teresa. She shouldn't have sacrificed herself. She was too important to the following. Sure, what she did was messed up. Uh, one of my most highlight moments was the elevator scene. Where Teresa was talking to that dude, and Thomas and I think Newt were at the background wearing the disguise, and they were just chilling there. But he knew something was up. Uh, let's talk about the production design. I know they shot this movie in Cape Town. Even looks like it. But the city looked amazing uh, at night with, when it was blowing up to the first time they showed you it and the whole memorabilia moment where they were carving out people's who they lost people's names and stuff that was a touching moment those moments I appreciated just the unnecessary deaths and the ending it was anticlimactic the story downfall I give this movie a 7 out of 10 because I did enjoy it, but it wasn't satisfactory, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, deuces.